Hi, hello everyone. My name is Abdul Karim Alias. In this video, I would like to share one of my favorite application to read news on the internet. And this application is called Feedly. Feedly is a free application that you can download on your smartphone uh, and it's available for Android phone as well as for iOS or iPhone, iPad and other tablets. And also there's a web-based uh, version which I'm going to show you in this video. So but basically what Fitly does is to uh, help you to manage your news reading so that you don't get overwhelmed or you spend a lot of time from uh, reading news from one web website to another website. So basically you have this app installed on your phone or on your tablet and you set up the app so that you can identify or you can tell uh, fitly what are the, ne the different news website that you want to read every day. Uh, this can be your favorite, for example, for, for example here, uh, we have three news uh, publication here. So you just tell fitly, okay, I want to read news from say the independent or from the New Street Times online or from other news publication and all you need to do is to set up and just um, identify the news publication that you want to read and basically Fitly will do well, its job every day any recent news or latest news published on each of the publication that you have identified will be pulled into one place so that all you need to do is just open the application and can read all the news that have been pulled together in the in the application or in the app. This will save you a lot of time and you, you can actually use the app to manage the news into different categories uh, that of uh, most relevant or interest uh, to you. So how this is possible? This is possible because uh, we have some uh, something called a, a technology called RSS or stand for a really simple syndication. Maybe uh, if you go to any website, probably you will notice this symbol or next time when you see this symbol, this symbol, this symbol means that when you subscribe to that uh, publication or to the website, uh, that will tell the application to, uh, I mean somehow they can communicate so any new news or article published in each of these websites automatically will be fed into the app. So this is what we call really simple syndication. So instead of, other, instead of going to each of these websites, the application actually will pull all the latest news and articles into one place. So this is what it means by curate the news into one place. The app the app become one stop center for you to manage and to read your news every day uh, then you can save a lot of time it becomes uh, more efficient for you to read the news so let me show you uh, the, my own um, feedly the example uh, shown here I'm already already logged in into my account I'll show you how to set up this account uh, letter so uh, as you can see here, I'm in my um, Feedly. So you can see here, these are all my personal feeds. Okay, and I can go through. So all these news or, or article actually are the most recent one. And you can see on the left hand side here, you can see uh, I'm under all here. And uh, these are the different categories that I have created. These are the most relevant to me. So for example here under the topic of uh, higher education here or category of higher education, these are the website that uh, I have uh, subscribed. Under this category, food ingredients, these are the different websites that uh, I have uh, subscribed. And of course, uh, if you are only interested in news, so you can create one categories, news, like I have here then you can identify the different uh, news publication that you want to uh, subscribe. 
So for example, I have here one, two, three, four, and I have two more. So I have one, two, six different news publication. So basically, Fitly now will pull or will take any new news or publication or articles published in each of these uh, news uh, publication and pull it into one place where I can just browse through what are the letters and these are all the articles which have been uh, filtered based on my preference and based on the publication or the news publication or the website which I have uh, identified. So uh, this is actually a very improve your um, workflow, how you read your news every day and will make it very, very efficient. So now I'm going to show you how to uh, set up Fitly. So I'm going to log out from this account. So all you need to do is to search for Fitly. Then from there, you can uh, come to this, you will come to this page. And now you need to set up your account. So you can click get started for free. And then you can continue with Google or your Gmail account, or you can also use Facebook, or you can set up using your any any email and your own uh, password. Okay, let's continue with Google. So you can use your Gmail. Okay, now you have uh, signed in and you can see this is actually the page you are presented with this page and this is your account of course you can also upgrade to the paid version which will uh, give you more uh, features and uh, more uh, bell and whistle for you but uh, the free account will be sufficient for you to use fitly to manage and read your news. Okay, you can see on the left hand side here, fits. So this is the RS, RSS symbol. Fits mean whatever uh, publication or whatever news publication that you subscribe, uh, it will uh, it will appear here and then it will start to take the recent article or the, rec the latest news from each of the publication and will be displayed on the right hand side here. Okay, let me show you how to simply add the publication or the content that you want to subscribe uh, through Fitly. Let's say I want to uh, I want to subscribe to a news a news uh, publication called the Star Online. So this is a Malaysian newspaper, the Star Online. Enter. Then you can see here the search results and you can see there are a few actually options available here. And this is actually a, a good way because um, uh, like when you subscribe to the newspaper or the news publication, you might not want to subscribe to the whole or everything that the, public, the, the newspaper or the news publication uh, publishes then maybe you can uh, be more selective. For example, here, you can see here, the Star Online News Feed. You can see there are 8,000 followers and there are how many articles uh, per week. The Star Online Business Feed. So maybe you are interested only uh, to read the business news because you are, bus you are, you are into uh, business, uh, stock trading or doing business. So you are interested to read only News Feed everything new about business. So maybe you want to follow this one. Okay, when you click follow, it will ask you to create new feed because you have not created any feed or any category. So you click that and then you can put the new, the, the, the title for your uh, news category. There are suggestions there, you can use any of this or you can type your own. So let's say I will type my own uh, local or national news then click click create 
and you can see on the left hand side now there's a national news category and then just now I have uh, followed the star online uh, sorry the business business uh, section let's say I want also to I want to follow also the star online news feed I click follow then uh, I can see what are the different categories which I have created just now I just create I just created national news then of course I want to add into this category then I click add then you can see now it goes into under national news category okay then I can do the same for uh, like for example here there are local news here okay I want to follow then goes to national news most recent uh, this from actually this from another 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 newspaper so I, I want to follow also the Sun so I can click follow it goes on the national news so now I have the, the local news from the Sun newspaper or news publication and another two section from the star online and basically I have one category which I have just created with 30 new articles or new news uh, inside then I can continue continue to create another uh, category another way how I can create the category here is by clicking adding add content here then I can search um, topics under each of this category here or maybe I can just search anything that I like for example I want to read about um, I want to read about something about uh, education or higher education so I will find any publication related to higher education okay it just happened that I always read this one then I want to click follow now but of course, uh, this one is not news. Uh, this one is just a blog. So I don't want I don't want to add into national news category. So I will create a new one, and I call this I will call this higher education, and click create. Okay, now I have a second category called higher education, and this has gone into that category. So let me browse again okay another one I have here the Chronicle of Higher Education is also a good one you can see here there are 11,000 followers 22 articles per week so when I subscribe to this website any new articles will be fed into this category in my Fitly so I will click follow and it will go now under higher education so basically that's uh, how you can create categories and how you can uh, tell Fitly what are the specific websites or the specific news publication that you want to subscribe. And by doing that, Fitly will bring or will pull all the news, all the new news or the new articles in each of the publication or, or each of the website that you have subscribed can see here you can see here there are you know these are the new articles or the new news that have been published that you have not read and altogether all this total up to 50 so all you can do now is by clicking all and it will display all the 50 articles in this form this is the listed form you can also change into a magazine view format okay or you can go into any specific publication or website and it will display in this case 10 articles from this uh, website and you can play around and change the view as you wish and uh, let's say you want to read this article you just click and it will display in Fitly you can see the short uh, just an excerpt of the article sometimes will display the full article and now you can visit the website to read the full article if you wish and there are a few things you can do while you are reading the article you can uh, share or you can click and uh, get the link to share 
you can uh, share on your uh, various social media you can uh, make it favorite you can save to you can create a board you can actually create a so called um, board the board means uh, you know you can create one specific category for uh, a topic of your interest and everything will go there so how to create a board you can create a board here create a new board and you can name the board and from there you can categorize your article into each of this board there are a few other things you can do for example uh, you know these are the things you can do while you are using the you can sort the news by the most popular or the latest or the oldest or you can sort by you know you can show only uh, article which you have not read and a few other things uh, you can uh, try you can do if it's relevant to your uh, to your needs so um, basically that's a very brief introduction to fitly and um, there are more things you can do and uh, i will uh, i will prepare another video to show you the advanced uh, features of fitly to handle or to organize your news and how you can leverage fitly to make your reading more efficient.